Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to see how I did my CHB element global certification. So if I talk about CHB 11, which is the latest version, the previous version which we had was V10. Before that we have seen V8, V9, V7, V6, but this is the latest version from EC Council. I do see a lot of guys asking for how to get certified with CHV11, how to become a certified ethical hacker. Because if you know EC Council is known because of this certification. Apart from that, you do see a lot of certification which is being provided by EC Council like uh, CND, Certified Network Defense, uh, CHV11, CHFI, Phone Sync Investigation, Disaster Recovery, Encryption Specialist, or security specialist, cloud specialist. So there are a lot of certification, but this is one of the most famous certification from EC Council because I do see that EC Council is known because of CEH. It has a lot of market value. So this is a link where we can see there's a brochure which is available from EC Council. I'm going to attach this link in description so that it will be useful for anyone who is planning to prepare for CHV11. So here I'm going to talk on how I did my CHV11 global certification. As I have done V10 as well as V11, I am certified ethical hacker. I work as a corporate trainer in cybersecurity for the last five years. So there are 20 modules. You can attend official training, which will be for five days where everything will be discussed in detail. So five days, eight hours. So that will be 40 hours as per EC Council. You need to spend at least 40 hours to go through the content. So there are 20 modules. Module one is on introduction to ethical hacking. Module two, footprinting and reconnaissance, scanning networks, enumeration, vulnerability analysis, system hacking, malware threats, sniffing, social engineering, denial of service, session hijacking, how to bypass IDS firewall and honeypot, how to hack web server, how to hack web application, how to do SQL injections, hacking wireless networks, how to hack mobile platform, how to do IoT and OT hacking, how to hack cloud computing or cryptography. So these are 20 modules. Everything will be discussed by a trainer once you attend training in five days. 40 hours. So each day it's going to be eight hours. After that, how you can plan for your exam? So I would say it may take three to four weeks, depending on your availability. So five days to go through the course content. That will be five into four. So I mean four modules each day. So you're going to complete 20 modules. So four modules per day. And five days you can go through the lab five days to go through the practice questions and five days to revise. So five, 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 five. So I would say, you know, if it's a week, so four weeks, three or four weeks, depending on if you are a fast learner, I would say three weeks is enough. If you're a slow learner, I would say one month is enough, four weeks. You can do it also in two weeks, you know, but this is how I plan my certification. So I'm sharing this with all of you. Maybe it is going to be helpful for anyone. So this is our exam, Certified Ethical Hacker. This is our exam code. There are 125 questions, which we need to clear in four hours. You can create an account here because whenever you take any exam from EC Council, you need to have an account here. So this is one-time registration. And after that, you can take any exam sitting at your home on your computer. Multiple choice questions. Passing score is available here. Now this is how I have planned my exam when I was preparing for this. So I spend three weeks and I am sharing that plan with all of you. Now, this is an exam portal where you need to go make an account here so that you can sit at your home and you can schedule your exam and Aspen portal. So what do you need to do here? you need to make an account so that you will be able to download all content, PDF, 
or maybe labs or maybe uh, ISO uh, or maybe some uh, you know uh, lab material or some labs if you want to set up your own lab. So everything you can download from Aspen portal, it is one time uh, you know account and lifetime access. So they recommend that you go through the PDF. You don't need to purchase any book, but you can go through PDF from EC Council. And then this is where you need to register for your exam. So this is a, bro, this is a badge from EC Council uh, for you know once you get certified and you will also get a certificate. So once you write your exam, after that, what is going to happen? Your result will be declared on the screen itself. So you have 125 questions where you need to mark it for review if you are not sure about the answer or you can submit it so you have four hours after four hours once you end your exam result is going to be on your screen saying that whether you have passed or failed after that it, they are going to send you a certificate maybe uh, within few days you will receive certificate in your mail and you are certified ethical hacker now this is very important resources for this exam i have used these resources now, you might be knowing everything once you go through all the content, once you go through all the all lab uh, you know, material. So I would say go through the content, go through the lab, just have an overview because if they ask any scenario-based questions, it will be easy for you. There are no performance-based questions, but there are multiple choice questions. So these resources are important for not only for this exam, but I would say for any exam, go to these websites and go to YouTube. So I'm going to browse a little bit to show you what are the sites we need to visit here. So first site is VC Plus. So you go to VC Plus. Apart from that, there are a lot of other sites, but I always go to these sites or IT exams or exam topics. So these are sites. These are resources and you search for the exam code. You can directly go to Comshare uh, or maybe, you know, EC Council. Here you can search for that exam. And here you'll be able to see some practice questions. I would not suggest you to purchase some questions, but I would say there are some questions which are being uploaded by some guys here. And then you can just, you know, check these exams. Like, you know, you can see V11. This is the new one. Okay, 31250. So they will give an option to purchase these questions, but I would say, you know, go for this. There's, these are some free questions which are being uploaded here. Or you go to here and search for the exam code 31250. And you will be able to see these questions. Or you go here and search for 31250. And then you'll be able to see these questions, right? So these are some practice questions. You, are, you can also go to YouTube and search for these questions from YouTube also. So these are some resources which I would suggest to go through to be able to get certified. Even you might be knowing all those concepts, you might be working in security for five years or 10 years, but you need to be smart enough to pass this exam. So I would say practice is very important. So these are the resources, VC plus IT exams, exam topics, go to YouTube and search for ethical hacking or CHV alignment practice questions. So this is a rough schedule. I assure you that once you follow the schedule, you'll be able to pass this exam as I did same for my CHV 10 and V11. So I was able to pass it. I hope this is going to be helpful for you also. If there's any comments or anything, do let me know. Thank you very much. See you in some next video. Thank you.